Welcome to the Toy Collector here with Pierre at Mezco's pre-toy fair event. Um, they have some amazing stuff here. I know, I'm going broke getting all of these things here. Wait till you see some of it. I'm not gonna continue to ram ramble though. Um, I'm gonna let Pierre do the talking. He's the master at this. Pierre, very good to see you. So if you could just um, give us a breakdown of what we're looking at here. Of course, so uh, what you guys are seeing here is our upcoming Gigantor figure. He's 24 inches tall, two feet tall, fully articulated. He's got ratchet joints, so you can pose him in a hold of pose. Uh, we've got five different color variants. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they're coming out, but they will be coming out. Um, and if my math is correct, now this is really important, but I think these are actually in scale to three and three quarter inch figures, which is cool for me because I'm a G.I. Joe fan. Uh, so anyway, Giganto's coming uh, late summer. Uh, he's really heavy too, so make space for him in your collection. Move over here to uh, Mortal Kombat. On this top shelf here, we're seeing uh, Series 1 and Series 2 are 6 inch Mortal Kombat. Those are both out now, available at retail. Shelf below that is uh, Bobbleheads. The uh, four inch figures, which are out this summer, as well as the Mezzets, also out this summer. Shelf below that is eight inch plush, as well as 12 inch figures, which are both out now. And then there's some packaged examples of exclusives we've done through previews uh, for Mortal Kombat. Next up over is Beetlejuice. It's uh, not a new license for us, because we've had Beetlejuice before, but we're getting back into it, doing new product. Uh, you're seeing a Mez uh, Mezzets collection. Um, some eight inch plush and a uh, stylized figure over there, which will be fully articulated. Um, shelf below that is the continuation of our two inch DC Mezzets line. We've got the uh, Tim Burton Batmobile from 89, uh, from the 89 Batmobile, from the 89 Batman movie, excuse me. Uh, next to that is a three pack from uh, Batman Returns with Batman, Penguin, and Catwoman. We're also doing a five pack for Suicide Squad, which will be out this summer for the movie. And uh, Dawn of Justice Mezzets with uh, Batman, Armored Batman, Superman, and uh, Wonder Woman. Shelf below that is uh, Thundercats. We are re releasing our 14 inch Lionel figure. The Snarf. Um, we're also finally getting around to releasing the Tiger figure, which um, wraps up the uh, adult portion of the core group uh, team. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and as, under, as, as a Thundercats fan, I'm excited to finally see him out. Uh, we're also doing the uh, 8 inch plush Snarf, we'll be out this summer. Um, next to that, we've got uh, LDD, Living Dead Dolls. Uh, top shelf here, you're seeing Pinhead from the Hellraiser films. Uh, next to him is uh, Trick or Treat, also LDD. Uh, I'm going to skip to the bottom shelf. This is uh, LDD Series 31, which will be out uh, early summer. And then the shelf above that is a continuation of more Hellraiser products. So we've got the, uh, the Lament Cube, uh, I'm sorry, Lament Configuration. Uh, there's a standee here for an 8-inch plush, as well as two different uh, versions of the 12-inch figure. Um, basically just an alternate head, but they will be articulated. They've got articulation of the shoulders, uh, elbows, and the wrists. Can't really articulate them below the waist because there's just a skirt there. Um, shelf next to that is uh, Child's Play. So on the top shelf you're seeing the good guy and uh, the evil Chucky in uh, stylized form. In the middle you've got the Halloween mask. Uh, on the right side you've got a 5 inch figure. And then up front here you've got the 2 inch mezzets. Shelf below that is uh, good guy Chucky as well as a talking Tiffany. And then the shelf below that is Annabelle from the Annabelle films. Over here we've got uh, Bugs Bunny. I don't really feel like you can go wrong with Bugs Bunny. I know it seems like an odd match for us in Mezco, but we're actually huge Looney Tunes fans. Uh, I'm, obviously I grew up watching this stuff on Saturday mornings. I'm a big Bugs, big Bugs Bunny fan. Uh, so he's also two feet tall, fully articulated. Uh, he's actually production, so he'll move around. He's got a long um, it's, a, it's a great figure. So on this side of the wall, we've got, or this side of the room rather, we've got the continuation of the 112 Collective line. Uh, we launched the year before last with uh, Dark Knight Batman from the Frank Miller graphic novel. We followed up with Judge Dredd and the Mutant Leader. And uh, now the floodgates are open and you're seeing uh, here the big unveil is the Marvel Universe. So we're adding Marvel characters to the uh, 112 umbrella. Uh, we could not possibly be more excited. We're huge fans of Marvel Comics and comics in general. Um, so we've got uh, three different versions of Daredevil up here. One is retro outfit, one is sort of uh, our take on his modern incarnation, and then the Shadowland version. Shelf below that is Captain America. We've got a uh, modern version as well as classic. Um, these are obviously prototypes. When, when we're doing classic in production, I believe we're actually going to have the classic version over here with the, the curved armor, for lack of a better term. It won't be the diamond bench. That'll be for uh, modern. Um, we've got Donner Justice with the movie coming up this summer. We're super excited. We've got the Henry Cavill, uh, Superman, Ben Affleck, Batman, as well as the mech suit 
the bat armor. Uh, the eyes will light up on the bat armor in production. They don't appear on the prototype, of course. Um, and as with everything Wall 12, they're fully articulated. They've got uh, cloth clothing. Um, and uh, we're, I don't think we're done with Dawn of Justice yet. We, uh, we're showing these three, but we have, we have gears turning behind the scenes, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, obviously, here you're seeing Punisher. We actually developed um, several versions of every character we're doing. As you know, we did multiple versions of Dark Knight. Uh, you're seeing two versions of Punisher here, one classic and one an armored version. We've also got a modern version, which is slightly different from these two. Um, and everywhere possible, we want to do variants of the characters that we're doing that are um, legitimate variants. So they've actually appeared somewhere or they actually make sense. <clears throat> We've got uh, Space Ghost and Blip that we showed at San Diego. He's inching closer and closer to production. Um, we've got Shazam from the DCU. Uh, and we're not showing all the accessories and alternate hands and alternate heads here on display. Every figure comes with, at a minimum, I want to say, three sets of hands. Uh, when it comes to characters like Shazam, we've done uh, a Mr. A Mr. Mind, the worm guy, as an accessory. We've done um, Mr. Adam, a severed robot head. So wherever we can, we're packing as much detail and accessories into these uh, releases as we possibly can. We've also got uh, Green Arrow, we've got Professor Zoom and Flash, we've got a DCU Superman. Um, and these are sort of our take on, on these characters. They're, they're uh, I don't want to say iconic because everyone has their own version of their favorites, but I like to think in terms of a character like Green Arrow that we've taken aspects of characters from throughout their existence and cobbled them together into what we think of as our, our iconic uh, Green Arrow. Um, and that's, that's across the board, where, whether it comes to Flash or Shazam or any of these characters. <clears throat> We've also got uh, Star Trek, so pre-orders are up right now for Spock and Sulu. Uh, Kirk will be coming out um, this summer. Uh, and again, wherever we can, we're, we're packing in as much detail as possible. So you see something like the, uh, the tricorder here, the top actually rotates open and closed like it would on the show. Um, the phaser fits in the belt here on the away team belt on Kirk that you can see that'll come out. The, the communicator goes in a pouch on the back of his belt. Um, can't really see it there, it's under his shirt, but trust me, it is there. Uh, the lid of the communicator opens and closes. Um, <clears throat> so again, with 112, wherever we possibly can, we're cramming as much uh, detail and uh, whatever extra we can into these sculpts. Uh, I've also got Universal Monsters, so what you're seeing here is uh, black and white Frankenstein as well as uh, a colored version of Frankenstein. Again, fully articulated, cloth clothing across the board. Um, so we did a Judge Dredd figure. Um, we did multiple Judge Dredd figures, actually. This is the, uh, the Diamond Exclusive version over here, which you'll see on the bottom shelf. This is uh, the Lawmaster, which is going to... It, it's paired with the black version of Dredd, which was the regular retail release. <clears throat> so this is a production sample, so you can see all the lights and sounds uh, that we've been hyping on this thing. Tail lights, headlights, computer monitor lights up on the dashboard. It's also got sound, so it's got engine noises. On this side, it's got more engine noises. And then down here, we've got cannon sounds, which also will light up in the muzzles in the front. As well as machine gun. Um, and this is just the, the first sort of larger scale item we're doing for 112. It's not the last. We've, we're doing figures, obviously. We've shown that we can, well, we haven't shown yet. We're going to show that we can do vehicles, um, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. We've got more vehicles coming, we've got more accessories for the figures to interact with. Um, the future for 112 is uh, is bright, and, and uh, I'm excited. As a, as a toy collector and a fan myself, um, I feel like we're doing something exciting and new, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it, honestly. So, thank you guys. All right, Pierre, I got a few questions to ask you. Um, I don't know if you can answer them. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I understand. Um, so the Marvel stuff, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Marvel fan. Love the Daredevils up here. Love the Punishers. Uh, looking forward to all the variants. Are there any characters that we might be seeing down the road um, or that you could just give us a little hint about? Um, there are a lot more Marvel characters in the works. Um, I can't hint at specific characters, but what I can tell you is that uh, as where we can, we're trying to pair up characters and villains. Um, where it makes sense. 
So when you see a character like Captain America, he's got to have someone to fight. So um, I can't tell you who, but we're working on villains for him. Okay. Um, a heroes and villains type of thing. We, well, you know, where it makes sense. I mean, we have characters that we want to hit, absolutely. We feel like we have to do Daredevil and, and Punisher among them. Um, but then there are also characters like, if you're going to do bad guys, they have to make sense. You know, like, uh, not that we wouldn't do him, but it, it doesn't make sense to do MODOK. Because, okay. like, these guys don't pair up with MODOK. Yeah, yeah. Some of these guys have iconic villains that they go up against in terms okay. of Captain America. So we're working on that. There are certain uh, parts of the Marvel Universe that we don't have access to, unfortunately. Have know, you hit those snafus with, uh, I know, some like the Fox rights and stuff like that? We, uh, the quarters of the Marvel Universe that we don't have access to are Fantastic Four and um, most mutants. Uh, so when I say Fantastic Four, I, just, I don't mean just the the, go, the galactic type of universe. Every, any character that debuted in that book, so Doctor Doom, Galactus, Silver Surfer, we can't do. Okay. Um, I would love to do Doctor Doom. Silver Surfer would look awesome. I agree. I agree. Um, and I would, uh, I'd love to do Wolverine, but it's not in the card right now, unfortunately. But that said, you know, I'm not, I'm not crying at the loss of that pocket of the universe when okay. we have all of these yeah, guys available else. to us. Um, yeah. Now, now, you, said, now you said most mutants, yes. not all mutants. That is correct. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I like I like the way he's going with that. Uh, now, with the DC universe, right. um, you said you're not finished with the Dawn of Justice. Correct. I'm hoping maybe we could see uh, Wonder Woman, maybe even uh, Lex Luthor, maybe a Doomsday, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, so we will be seeing some more figures from uh, Dawn of Justice. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to uh, movie events, obviously we're not gonna hit the movie on the head, but when you look back at a movie like Man of Steel, okay. um, regardless of how well the movie was received, Henry Cavill's Superman has now become an iconic Superman. Yes, the so, change of the suit. And right, so you look at the suit, you don't think, oh, that's weird. You think, oh, that's Superman. Yes. So um, we feel like whether we hit the window or not, these are gonna sell. So if we're a year out from the movie and we're doing more characters in the film, we're not worried about them. As long as we do them well, we'll find the audience. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely done well. If, if, guys, I'm gonna post some, some pictures to the Facebook page. Um, they're gonna be on a few other uh, outlets online. You gotta look at these up close and just see the detail. The detail that has gone into these, the face sculpts, even the, the outfits, the accessories. I mean, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, uh, and uh, so, all right, so we're, we're hitting on some DC stuff, we're hitting on Marvel. Uh, any other things that we could, um, Star Trek, that's a big reveal today. It is. Spot. Um, well, we, we have uh, the classic Trek, which is what you're seeing here. We don't have uh, Next Generation. Um, not that we can't get it, it's just not in the works at the moment. Okay. Um, when it comes to further characters for the original series, we, we have characters like McCoy, we have Scotty, we have Uhura. I'd love to get the entire bridge crew, including Scotty, in there. Um, and uh, it may happen, it just it depends on how well these guys do. Okay. And, and not only that, but how much we want to spend time in one universe. Because we're hopping around a lot with our 112 releases. Yes. I mean, started out with Batman, went to Judge Dredd, went to Space Ghost. So we don't, we don't want to, you know, be the company that does one thing. Yes. Especially with a line like this, we have to hit as many areas of the universes, of all the universes that we can. And we only have so many guys working here. So yes. there's only so much work we can get done. Um, but we're doing as much as we can. We're, we're as big, if not bigger fans than all the guys watching. And you know, you and I, obviously, we've talked a lot. We're huge fans. I'm a huge fan. Um, so the line is in good hands. Now, Batman, uh, Dark Knight, I love that. Um, I came into it a little bit late. I didn't get all the different variants. <laughs> but I got what I like, you know, uh, the mutant leader and all that. I definitely like that. I saw you guys are releasing that as a single yes. uh, figure. Yep. Now, um, can we see other... Batman oriented uh, villains, maybe a Joker, uh, maybe a Riddler, a Mr. Freeze. From Dark Knight or just Batman in general? Just Batman in general. I will say, uh, I've said this before, our president here, Matt, is, is the world's biggest Batman fan. Okay. So, uh, if anything, the reason you haven't seen an iconic like 112 Batman is because it's taking years to finalize what he wants in the figure. Okay. Uh, there will Attention be no to detail. Yeah. More so, just because it's Batman, it has to be perfect. Um, so, if anything, there will be no shortage of Batman characters. They'll absolutely Joker, yeah, well, then absolutely Harley. We'll get to them. It's just a matter of when. I would love to see Harley, Joker, and a amazing Mister Freeze. I agree. I think the, the, helmet, helmet, the helmet, the helmet, just the, the full, the full Mister Freeze. I would love to see that. Um, now, 
you're a big Joe fan. I am. I am. You're I'm, a big I'm, Joe fan. I'm trying to make my dreams happen with this one. It's, it's that, not. That's what. That's what I was getting at. It's not a hint. It's not a hint. I okay. would love for it to happen. Okay. But, uh, there's absolutely nothing in the works. I'm not hinting there, There's anything. nothing. Nothing in the works. I. I would love it. But uh, as of right now, okay, yeah, no, gotcha. No. What about Thundercats? The uh, the scale that you have, the larger scale uh, Thundercats. I love them. They're amazing. Do you think we can see them scale down, or we we can? I okay. mean, we we've said from the beginning that Thundercats are open to us. The question again is. Where do we focus our time? Okay. Because really, we it's not a licensing issue. It's not like we, we can't. We last year in the, in the 112 catalog, we had Thundercats okay. as a, a logo. So we can do them. It's just like, where do you prioritize, prioritize. Stuff, You know, like I'd love to do line. If you down, down, downsize those into, into some 112. But I mean, like, I, we could do line, but then, like, we have to push one of these guys out. Or, yes. or something that's in development you now has to get pushed focus out. On. It's just okay. like where we, where we have. To put our focus and our attention, okay. we don't have enough time to make everything we want to make. Understood. Unless we lived here. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, my last question: uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Are we going to see some more Mortal Kombat stuff, or are we ending towards the end of the line? How's that going? I don't know. Okay. Uh, and it's going to sound like I'm being evasive. I'm not trying to uh, sneak out of your question. I honestly don't know the answer. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how to give <laughs> more information than that. Like, we might, we might, we might not. Who knows? Pretty Time much, will tell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, it, when it comes, I mean, we've got more stuff coming because the four inch and the mezzos are coming out. I know you're asking me about the six inch because that's really where uh, where the questions are, yeah. and I don't know. I, as of right this second, we don't have anything in development, um, but uh, we're waiting to hear on a few things. So okay, we'll see. Mez. I'm hoping for uh, some six inch Joes, some 112 Joes. <laughs> you heard it, I'm asking right here. Pierre wants it too, he knows he wants it. And the Thundercats, but hey, I know, I know how it goes. For right now guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Mezco's pre-Toy Fair event. Um, we're here live. Thank you very much, Anytime. we appreciate it, always a pleasure. And uh, tune in guys, we'll be at Toy Fair. Uh, we got a lot more good stuff and you know, we'll stop in and say hi to Pierre and the crew. Thank you guys. Take care.